Maybe your workouts have felt different. You're sitting there with your phone, right? You're logging numbers into your phone, you're clicking, I have done 14 reps and this much weight and everything. And then you're watching one or two reels and you're laughing a little bit and boom, your pump is gone and your workouts are shit. And then you come home and you feel like, hey, tomorrow I'll need some motivation. So let me read a book or watch a video about motivation. Let me tell you something, it's not gonna work. If you watched this video to get you motivated for tomorrow's workout, I'm telling you something. Get your phone, get off of YouTube right now, delete the app, view the video in the browser, and delete Instagram also. Now, why do I tell you this? I'm telling you this because Instagram and your phone has sucked your soul away. This is why everything for you feels so empty. It feels empty for you to eat. It feels empty for you to do things. It feels empty for you to lead your life. Everything just feels empty. And your mom was right, it is that damn phone. Everything in your life feels bad and I'm telling you, even if you're doing self-improvement on a good level, you can fall prey to this. Meditation is necessary for this and therefore I'm gonna teach you to meditate on the highest level in this video. The way you meditate in the best possible way and essentially the way in which you get away from all your addictions and from all the ways in which your mind has been fucked by Instagram. Because how the soul works is first comes attention. First you pay attention to something and then you pay and then your mind is on something and then your soul is on something so first you see your phone first you see instagram and then your mind is on instagram and you think of new reels then you got essentially brain rot but one what comes above that is when you're attached to it when you're when you're addicted to it when you're like when you've got muscle memory and you just and you're, you're in a social setting, no one talks, and you just all pull your phones out, swipe it open, click on Instagram. That's in your muscle memory nowadays. If I tell you, direct your phone to Instagram right now, you wouldn't know how to do it. You'd like open, swipe, click, boom, Instagram. Dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. And my soul got sucked into it, and my life felt horrible. It felt soulless. And just a couple weeks ago, I decided, hey, let's download Instagram again. I wanted to make a little bit of advertising for my YouTube channel to get more people onto this positive message that I hope I'm, I'm, that I hope I'm spreading. And I thought to myself, let's do this in the way in which I post relatable content on Instagram. But what it did, it made me so addicted because when you post something on Instagram, you have to keep the app open to actually be able to upload it and then I thought like oh this is a funny video let's scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and suddenly I was at that point again where it was muscle memory for me to swipe on Instagram and I only got rid of Instagram because I was meditating so much I'm meditating like an hour a day right now and you need to start this too and the way you meditate more is you meditate every single time you can when you're on the bus, you meditate. When you're on the train, you meditate. When you've got nothing to do, you meditate. When you're, on, when you're lying in your bed and you can't fall asleep, you're meditating. When you're doing something, you're meditating. When you are alive, when you are awake, when you're breathing, when you can, you are mindful. You train yourself to be mindful. You train yourself to be selective about what thoughts you let into your head and you will cure your mental health. So the best way to meditate is to simply meditate a lot. This is why an hour of meditation works so good. You're learning how to meditate better so the quality increases and also the quantity increases because you're meditating more. And with the quality of the meditation, the quantity also increases because meditation is more like how much time do you spend mindfully. And with the quality of your meditation, the mindfulness time of your meditation goes up so you're technically meditating more if you're meditating better, even if you meditate for the same amount of time. So meditate a lot. Meditate on the bus, meditate on the train, you name it, meditate anywhere, be mindful all the time. Delete Instagram from your phone. Don't think I can't think how can I. 
how can I delete Instagram off of my phone? You can probably run your Instagram business. You can probably run your Instagram meme page off of your computer or off of your laptop and just get it off of your phone. I would even consider getting a work phone if you're like a paid entrepreneur. If you're getting paid for what you do, get a work phone and put it on there and don't get that work phone with you. Put it in your locker room, just put it somewhere where you need to grab it and don't have it in your pocket so it's not muscle memory. Just get it out of your pocket. Swipe, swipe, click. This is what you need to do. You need to break the cycle. This is gonna take meditation, discipline, and some self-binding, so some form of physical separation between you and Instagram or TikTok. You can replace Instagram. So anytime I said Instagram, you can just replace that with TikTok, YouTube, video games, jerking off, porn, fapping, everything. Every addictive problem is solved with discipline, meditation, and of course, Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior. So pray, meditate, and fast, and have a nice day, and be mindful.